illustration of 3D Jiu-Jitsu because it's really easy to illustrate the concept of space expanding and contracting, but the technique staying relatively the same. So if I'm doing an arm drag from standing, it's going to be very close to what I do with the arm drag if I'm, if I'm playing a butt scoot and my opponent's kneeling, or I'm playing a butt scoot and my opponent's standing. The basic mechanics, what make it work, stay the same. So I don't think about learning three or four different techniques. I'm just thinking about applying the same technique in three or four different ways which mentally makes me a lot more efficient and a lot more effective because I'm perfecting the same movements. I'm getting a lot of reps on the same kind of attack, and I'm just recognizing that this, the execution is going to change just a little bit. So I go from learning four different techniques to learning one or two, which makes my game a lot more effective, a lot more, uh, a lot more compact, a lot more condensed. So I'm getting a lot of mileage out of my, my few techniques. So the arm drag for standing, uh, calling it arm drag is actually, a, it's actually what distracts a lot of people from really what's, what makes arm drag effective. It kind of puts you down the wrong path. You think of a drag, you think of kind of like yanking someone. And that's not going to be, that, that's, that's, the, that's what's going to make your arm drag really ineffective. If you're thinking about really dragging, really pulling someone around. The arm drag is really about redirecting the arm and moving yourself around it. It's the only thing that's blocking me from taking Daryl's back. This seems like a really simple concept, but once you start looking at how it, how it illustrates in a lot of different places, how it comes up in a lot of different places, it makes a lot of sense. So if I'm trying to take Daryl's back, this is what stops me. I'm taking this back. This is the only thing in my way because I'm going to one side, one arm is going to keep me from making that transition. So if I can get that arm out of my way, I have a clear path to take that back. And that's all I'm trying to do with that arm bar. I'm going to try to take this, this, this wrist from the same side where it can catch me and move it across. So I create like a, an angle across my hip so I can start making that transition. So I take that wrist from here to over here. So I'm going to do that arm drag from standing and grabbing the wrist. Start going after the uh, start going after the elbow for a little bit of control, but really I'm moving myself, not my opponent. Like I said, I'm not ripping Daryl forward because if Daryl's bigger than me, if he's stronger than me, it's not going to work. So I'm just using all my leverage to get this to happen, just this two on one grip to make this make this redirect uh, make this redirect a possibility. Now as soon as that happens, I pull myself to his shoulder to close this space. Now I can finish my transition by spinning around to his back. So let's move this way a little bit more, Daryl. Good. So I'm here. Get that wrist, just throw a quick grip, come around to the back of the back of the tricep. I'm getting right above the elbow joint, just gripping right here. Very strong grip, very easy place to, to lock, latch onto. Just push it out of the way. Now I pull myself into his shoulder here. I'm stepping in at the same time. So we're kind of mirroring our stances. Just going here, stepping forward. Now when I go to make this transition, I'm gonna kind of pull his arm through as I reach for his back muscle here. Come into my back body lock. Now, a lot of stuff can happen in this back body lock. You can do a super Marcelo, hop him onto his back. I mean, that's all fine and good. The basic arm drag is the concept I want to focus on here. So I'm just getting the wrist. Boom. Pushing out of the way. Coming forward. Now, I'm also loading up my control on one side of his body, which gives me a lot of leverage, a lot, a lot of power. And that's another big concept of the arm drag. It's two on one idea. Two arms on one limb. It really ends up being my whole body on one limb because I'm really putting all my effort and be killing it, getting out of the way. So I go, hmm, wrist, bam, hmm. pull in, start taking the back. So we'll look at that concept applied in a lot of different, a lot of different positions, a lot of different applications to get Daryl's arm out of my path. Whether I'm doing the arm drag or using some variation of the arm drag. Mm -hmm.